Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider pre-build for the beta channel, which is the build 26120.3964. In this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and what is fixed in this build. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is introducing the new agent in settings. Basically, this means that whenever you will have this enabled, the search box in the settings app will be moved at the top and then you're going to be able to describe an issue or problem or a setting that you want to find and the AI agent will help you find it. Unfortunately, I don't have here a Copilot Plus PC because this is an AI feature that will only work on Copilot Plus PCs for now, but support for AMD and Intel powered computers will come soon. I think this is highly linked with Copilot, but you're also going to see a screenshot from the Microsoft blog to see how that looks. For example, they're searching for an issue. My mouse pointer is too small and the AI agent will recommend an option, increase mouse pointer size from one to five. Microsoft is also adding intelligent text actions and click to do for AMD and Intel powered Copilot Plus PCs. Basically, you're gonna be able to use the Windows key plus mouse click or Win plus Q to select a text block and then drag to select the text that you want. You'll see options to summarize, create a bulleted list or to help you rewrite your text so it sounds more casual, more formal or more polished. Also related to click to do for Windows Insiders using French or Spanish as the their primary language on their PC, click to do will temporarily only provide summarize and create a bulleted list. Rewrite and its options, including refine, will return in a future update. A change related to dynamic lighting. Dynamic lighting compatible devices can now be safely removed using the safely remove hardware and eject media taskbar icon. Inside the settings app, Microsoft is also making it easy to find answers to common questions about your PC and Windows 11 inside system and then in the about section. We're going to notice that Microsoft is adding a frequently asked questions with answers, of course, which will answer some of the most basic questions related to Windows 11 and your computer. Microsoft is also re-adding the new taskbar battery icon along with all its fixes. So thank you to Phantom of Earth for providing the IDs and this way we're able to enable this. Basically, the new taskbar icons include different icons for different states of the battery, when it's charging, when it's not charging, when it's low, when it's on energy saver, and so on. So I think this is a nice addition that hopefully will come soon on the main release as well. Also, as spotted by Phantom of Earth, we can also see a bit of the Windows migration flow in the latest dev build, also in the beta channel, and this is the actual backup app, not the UI reconstruction that we saw last year. So thank you to Phantom of Earth on Twitter for providing these screenshots. Microsoft is also providing intra ID support for AI features in Paint and the Notepad app. So if you have these apps up to date, you should have it. And this basically enables commercial customers to access AI features that were previously limited to consumers. In Paint, intra ID unlocks access to co creator and general to fill and in Notepad, it adds the ability to quickly summarize or rewrite text content. Talking about fixes in this build, Microsoft fixed a few crashes related to the start menu that were impacting reliability for insiders in the recent flights. Related to the File Explorer, Microsoft fixed a deadlock which could occur when loading File Explorer home, causing it to hang. They also fixed an issue where shared by and activity information was missing in the tooltip when hovering over the recent documents in the File Explorer home. And they also fixed an issue which could cause Explorer.exe to crash when closing File Explorer. Related to voice access, they fixed an issue which was causing voice access crashes when using Spanish. Related to the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue where when using tab and shift plus tab to move keyboard focus around the taskbar, if you went backwards at least once you could get keyboard focus stuck on the taskbar frame which would potentially lead screen readers to just say pain. And they also fixed an issue which could cause the media controls in the preview windows for apps in the taskbar to flicker. Related to Windows Spotlight, they fixed an issue where the Windows Spotlight flout for learn more about this picture when using it as your desktop background might get stuck about the other app windows. Related to live captions, they fixed an issue causing live captions to crash in the previous build. And we also have two other fixes, improve the colors used in MMC when items are selected both generally and when contrast modes are enabled. And they also fix an underlying issue which could make some apps like Word hang when trying to print. There are also a few known issues in this build. First of all, a general known issue, the option inside settings, system, and then recovery will not work on this build. And this is basically everything that there is straight to this latest beta channel build. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Umario from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.